Welcome everyone. As you can see, in this lesson of the CompTIA Network Plus course, we're going to be talking about fiber optic cabling types and connectors. If you're going to be physically connecting things in the environment, and if you're not going to be making use of copper cables to do it, then you're probably going to be making use of fiber optic cable. These cables are often used as the backbone in networks, and they're also favored in environments where there's generally very high amounts of interference. Unlike copper cables, fiber optic cables are immune to interferences because they work with light, where copper cables work with electrical signals. The fact that fiber optic cables work with light instead of electrical signals means someone also won't be able to listen in on your digital traffic, so it's also more secure. These cables can be used over much longer distances compared to copper cables because the signal does not degrade as much. It's light, after all. Alright folks, and then when it comes to the different types of fiber optic cables you get, there are two types you need to be aware of. The first is called multi-mode fiber, and the second is called single-mode fiber. So if you find yourself installing fiber somewhere, or just generally working with it, you will be most likely using one of these two I just mentioned. The multi-mode fiber is one we normally use for connecting things indoors. This one can go up to 2 kilometers in distance and is most commonly found in places like a server room. It's obviously not limited to server rooms, but this is generally where I've come across the most often. Fiber optic cable is generally a lot faster than Ethernet cable, which is why it's the preferred cable in most server rooms for linking various equipment together. All the equipment will be able to communicate with each other at much faster speeds than what they would normally be able to do with Ethernet cables. Now the single mode optic fiber is usually used outdoors and can go for much longer distances, which is up to 100 kilometers. This is what we'll normally use to link things up over very long distances and at great speeds. Now unlike Ethernet cables, which all generally use the same connector type, Fiber optic cables don't all use the same connector types. So let's maybe have a quick peek at the various kinds of fiber optic cable connector types you actually get. The first one on my list here is straight tip, also known as ST for short. The second one on the list is subscriber connector or SC for short. Then we have a local connector or LC for short. And lastly, we also have mechanical transfer registered jack. Now, with regards to the first one on the list here being straight tip, first of all, here is a picture for you guys, just in case you've never seen one of these connectors. The straight tip connectors are a quick release bayonet style connector. They're most commonly used in fiber optic networking applications. They can be used with both short distance applications and long line applications. These ST connectors are cylindrical with a twist lock coupling and a 2.5 millimeter keyed ferrule. They have a bayonet mount and a long cylindrical ferrule to hold the fiber. Be aware though, they're spring loaded, so users must make sure they're seated properly. The benefit is these are usually very easily to insert and remove. Alright folks, and then with the second connector here on the list being subscriber connector, like before, here's a picture or two for you guys for reference. Now the subscriber connector is a fiber optic connector with a push-pull latching mechanism that provides quick insertion and removal while ensuring a positive connection. The subscriber connector is also available in duplex configuration it has a benefit in keyed duplex capability to support both send and receive channels, and this connector is also commonly used for most modern network applications. The subscriber connector is a snap-in connector that is extensively used in single-mode systems for its remarkable efficiency. And this connector is also very inexpensive, trouble-free, and robust. They give precise positioning via their ceramic ferrules, the square snapping connector latches with a simple push-pull motion and is keyed. Now looking at our list of connectors again, let's have a peek at the third one on the list being a local connector or LC for short. Like usual, here are some picks for you guys. 
Okay, let me move these pigs out of the way a bit and make some room for information. So first of all, the LC does not actually just stand for local connector. It actually also stands for Lucent Connector or Little Connector, believe it or not. I suppose it comes down to preference, but I've never actually heard anyone in IT say Lucent Connector or Little Connector. Everyone in IT I've come across just normally calls it LC and in some rare cases, maybe Local Connector. This LC connector features a 1.25 millimeter zirconia ferrule in a small form factor fiber optic connector housing with a snag free latch which gives an audible click upon engaging for reliable and high density connections. Alrighty folks and then back on our list of fiber connector types let's have a quick peek at the last one here on the list being mechanical transfer register jack. Same as before let's add a peek for you guys. Okay, so first of all, these connectors are usually called MT-RG for short. Much shorter than that long name, right? Now this fiber connector type, folks, is a very efficient, high density, low cost and lightweight optical fiber connector that has become very widely used in network hardware. The design of this connector is actually very close to that of the RJ45 connector used in Ethernet networks. However, this connector is smaller in size and consequently lower in cost. It is slightly smaller than a standard phone jack and is very easy to connect and disconnect. Compared to all the types of fiber optic connectors, this one offers lower termination cost and greater density for cable management hardware. All right, everyone, so all in all, you'd be wise to invest some time and to invest some money in fiber optic networks. Generally, these networks and cables are better in most aspects. I suppose it's going to come down to whether you can afford to install it at the end of the day. If you can afford it, I definitely recommend you invest in this and install it. Okay, and that, folks, is fiber optic cable types and connectors. If you'd like to know more about this topic, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll gladly answer any questions you might have. If you found this video informative, give the video a like, and if you'd like to stay informed of when new lessons get released, remember to hit that subscribe button. I'd also like to say a special thank you to the sponsors. I had like one new Patreon on my new Patreon. And now the person has left and now I see I've got another new person. <laughs> so either way, special thank you to the Patreon sponsors for supporting me and my channel. And if any of you guys would like to sponsor me and my channel so I can make more free content like this, you can find all of that information in the video description down below. There should actually be a link on the video right now as well. But if you want, just look in the video description down below and you'll find all of it there. All right, folks, see you on the next lesson.